Good morning, paddlers. I'm out on Selby Canal today, and I'm doing some testing with three of my uh, three of my three crafts out of my fleet. And but while I'm here, I'll also do an embarking and disembarking video, um, and show you how I get in and out from the bank because the three boats are very different. So we'll start with the Blue Bond Coast here. Let's do this. Now I do generally have ropes and the boat tied up on the shore somewhere but because I'm working on speed today I haven't done that. So feet in, if you've got any seat cushions in make sure that they're pushed to the back of the seat. Feet in and then what you want to do is you want to reach for the furthest side. One hand on the bank, reach for the furthest side and then just kind of shuffle in. You're never going to look graceful doing this. And then just get yourself comfortable. You can use the bank for support. Or if you're on a jetty or a pontoon, use the jetty or the pontoon for support. I generally have a paddle leash tied to here, which I keep on the shore or wrap around something that's on the bank, just so that the boat doesn't move around so much. As I say, today I'm working on speed, so I haven't done that. So that's getting in. How do we get out? Well, I think one of the most important things to remember is to, you need to offset. Most people try and get out like this and then the boat, has, it, it makes you feel like you're going to tip. What you kind of need to do is offset that. So what I do is I put one leg on the far side of the craft, both hands on the bank and then just lift myself out. And that's that one. Okay, on to the next. So now, let's look at getting in and out of the Challenger. And you're just going to do the same thing. Sit on the bank, hand on the far side. I'm just going to move my sat now. And then just shuffle in. As I say, never going to look graceful. Then once you're in, just get your legs in, get in how you want, etc. I've got a higher cushion in this one today. I'm just testing it out. Getting out, same principle, hand on the side. One leg, the leg furthest away from the bank at the Good furthest way. side of the boat. Oops, sorry mate. A bit of an interlude there. And then same. Just lift yourself out. And onto the bank. So with this drop stitch model, we're gonna do exactly the same thing again. With the Riber drop stitch kite that I've got, it's much more stable than this one and has a flatter base. This one has a slightly beveled base, so it is just that little bit more rocky on the water. But nevertheless, it's just the same. You're just going to get in, reach for the other side, and sit in. You can see it's a little bit rockier. Okay, that's it, you're in. Same principle when it comes to getting out. Hands on the side, push off on the far side of the craft and just lift yourself out and onto the shore. I tend to find that getting in and out is as easy or as hard as you want to make it. And if you overthink it, it is one of those things, if you overthink it, it will end up being a lot harder. So just follow the principles of keeping the far side of the craft stable while you get in and out and you won't go far wrong. People tend to put too much weight on the side of the craft that's nearest the bank and that's where they feel unstable. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, most of all, I hope you found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's up to you. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it really does help. It just means that when you open up YouTube, there'll be a little one of those little red notifications to say that I've uploaded a new video. Thank you so much for watching. You take care and I'll see you soon. Cheerio.